Printing a booklet from InDesign can be a little confusing at first. In this video I want to demonstrate how to print a booklet. First, I recommend that you have a multiple of four in your InDesign document and that your document is designed in half letter size paper. If you don't have a multiple of four, I would recommend putting in blank pages where you want blank pages to appear. Otherwise, InDesign will add in blank pages where it thinks that they are necessary. It will be much better if you add in the blank pages on your own. If it is designed in full paper, uh, full letter size paper, you may follow the same steps in this video. You will just have to use tabloid size paper when printing while I will be using letter size paper. Depending on your printer, you may or may not be able to print double sided. Some printers even have a stapling feature and will staple your booklet for you. For this demonstration, I will be using an Adobe print driver to make a PDF of my booklet so you can see what the booklet would look like. Right now I have a sample booklet with 12 pages inside of it and I also have a couple of pictures. I have a picture that spans across page 4 and page 5 as well as a picture that spans between page 6 and page 7. I want to print this as a booklet. Uh, basically I'm going to fold this in half and have it work like a booklet. In order to print this booklet, go up to File. Your first inclination may be to click on Print, but if you do this, it's going to print each page individually. That's not what we want. What we want to do is print two pages on every side of each sheet of paper. That way, we can fold the, pa the paper in half and we'll have a book or a booklet from what we've done. Instead of choosing Print, go down to Print Booklet, and we're going to see here is our setup. We can see there's a preset. It's right now it's just set to custom. There are yours may be set to a different one. I chose to use an Adobe PDF. You can change the print settings down here, which we're going to do in a minute. We're going to do a booklet type two-up saddle stitch. You can see there's a couple other options, but a two-up saddle stitch basically allows you to fold the paper in half and put two staples or stitches inside of the booklet. Now I want to click on preview to see if everything is correct. And the preview is showing me what is going to print out on each of the pages. And right now I can see that page 12, the back cover, is going to print on the same page as page 1. But I also can see this red area indicating that half of my page is going to be cut off. That could be problematic. If I click on the summary, it's going to tell me the summary of everything that's printing. But I want to go back to preview. I need to fix this. To fix this, or to change the printer that you're using, Simply click on Print Settings. This brings up a lot of options. I have my printer set to an Adobe PDF, which is going to allow me to create a PDF from this uh, document. And what I want to do is make sure that Print Blank Pages is selected. Inside of my booklet, I do have one blank page. And if I don't select this, I'm going to uncheck it real quick. It may mess up the way my pages are distributed inside of this document. And so I'm going to make sure that my print settings have print blank pages set up. Now I want to change the orientation of my print so that it fills this page. I click on Setup. I'm going to change the orientation so now that it's going to be landscape. It's not going to update until I click OK. But this is also the location where you can change the page size. Let's say that you made your booklet design using letter size paper. If you did that, you can change your paper here to use tabloid or 11 by 17. Let me show you. 11 by 17 would be tabloid. But because I used half letter size paper, I can use that. And now when I click OK, it's going to fix the rotation of the paper. So now it's going to print on one sheet of paper page 1 and page 12. You can see these blue numbers indicate what pages are being printed. I can now click through and I can see my other pages that would be printed as well. Now I put two pictures inside of this document for a purpose. Notice here how page 4 doesn't line up with page 5. The reason is these pages are going to be next to a different page and the way that the booklet will be stapled is going to shuffle the order of these pages. If I click over to the next one, you can see there is the second half of that same picture. Now if I go to page 6 and 7, they have the picture connected together. And the reason is, this is going to be the innermost page or the inside of my booklet. So if everything looks correct, I can go ahead and click on Print. 
Now using the Adobe driver, I'm going to have this window pop up and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it Sample Booklet. I'm going to save it. And now you can see I have the front page will print out front cover, back cover. The next page will have page 2 as well as page 11 which was blank. Page 10 and page 3. Page 4 and page 9. Page 8 and page 5. Page 6 and page 7. Now I can print these out inside of my printer. If your printer supports double-sided, it may have something called duplex, and it may give you an option to print open the book to the left or from the top. Now in this case, you would want to print open from the left because that's the way that your book opens up. It will keep all your text right side up. If you do open from the top, it's actually going to flip every other page, and it's going to be upside down. Go ahead and experiment with your printer. If you're doing a big or a large booklet, I would recommend practicing with just a small booklet or just practicing with four pages and see if you can get that correct before you try printing a larger booklet. I hope this video has helped you in figuring out how to print a booklet using InDesign.